Hello everyone, Manufa Collectibles here, and today we will do the unboxing and review of Johnny Silverhand from Pure Arts. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to my friend Josh from Comic Concepts because he sent me this statue for this unboxing and review. If you're interested in getting this particular statue, please check the link down below. You can get it and use my code MOHC so you can save 10% on your first purchase. All right, guys, enough with the talking. Let's start with the unboxing. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, as you can see, we're going to start with the front and this is how you'll see the box when you get it. You can see Johnny Silverhand in the front with a yellow and black pattern. This is the side with the continuation of the yellow and black. And this is the other side, Cyberpunk 2077. This is the back, nothing there. All right, guys, now let me open this up. And the first thing, of course, you're going to have this massive package in here with the ball cross, of course. Then we have this little uh, card here with Johnny Silverhand. And of course, you will see the edition number. In this case, 233. All right, so now let me take this out and show you what else we have. And as you take this out, you'll see the statue with all the accessories. And because the base is huge, I'm going to show you it later. But you can see the guitar. So we're going to start with this one. So I'm going to show you all the accessories that this uh, statue comes with. And this thing looks pretty nice. I love the design and, of course, the detail on it, right? There's no, um, you know, weathering or whatsoever because it is how it is. You know, I didn't play the game, so please don't quote me on that. We have this uh, piece here that you can actually put on the side of the base. And as you can see, guys, it is nicely painted and, of course, weathered. You can see the other side, especially that silver piece there. Now, this is magnetic, so as soon as you put it on the base, it will stick there. And don't worry, I'm going to show you pretty much everything later in the video. So stay tuned for that. Then we have the mechanical arm. And this is one of my favorite pieces because there's a lot of details going on, especially with this silver paint application, right? Really... Um, really cool this red pattern or red um cables inside and of course you can see the fingers and again this is also magnetic so you can put it on the statue then we have this gun here and i love the handle with this translucent red this is the other side looking really nice i love the silver and black so pretty cool you can actually put this in the gun holder that this uh, statue has in the back and don't worry again i'm going to show you everything we have two pair of glasses one is designed to put it on the health scope the other one is um kind of like a full glasses so you can actually put it on the hand if you want or whatever you want then we have this little um uh chain here or or what should we call it um necklace right is metal then we have the smaller version of this that you can put on johnny and you can see we have a cigarette and of course the little accessory that you put on the elbow and again i'm going to show you everything for the base i'll show you later because it's huge and of course we have this piece here which is um a can and of course some coffee that somebody forgot to drink <laughs> so it is on this little uh piece here right so it's a, a pizza box if you will and of course we have the statue here which i'm gonna show you later in the video so stay tuned for that and that's basically it for this packaging and of course we have the headscope here looking really good and that's basically it all right guys so now let's move on to the other trade and this is where we have the l uh, the lcd panel looking really cool we have this instruction manual so you can kind of see the track list of all the songs that you want to play on this thing now for copyright purposes i cannot put the songs but i'm going to show you pretty much the display and how this looks on right you can see the 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 back piece here and of course don't worry i'm going to show you when it's fully loaded fully installed we have some drinks here, and this is my favorite part of the unboxing because we can drink. <laughs> we have some uh, bottles here, right? We have some Johnny Walker, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but it looks really cool. You can put that on the base if you want. This comes with a control remote, so you can actually switch between tracks. Now, taking a look at the headscope here, it looks really nice. I like it, especially the paint application uh, on, on the face. Now, the, the paint application on the eyes, I don't think is the best, but it looks okay to me, right? This is the hair, which is sculpted. Everything here is sculpted, no fabric whatsoever, but it does look like Kenny Reeves, right? You can see 
the top of the head scope looking really good and of course this thing is magnetic so you can put it on the statue and love the texture on the skin as well all right guys so now taking a look at the base and yes this base is on so i connected it to the power you can see the lights on the blue and the green at the bottom with the yellow and of course the base which looks really nice especially those cables underneath now you can see the side where i put those tubes that is connected to the back drop of the base and that's basically it for this side now to the other side you can see the continuation of those tubes over there looking really nice you can see that it's connected to the back and it is magnetic so it will hold the weight nicely the side of the lcd monitor or or backdrop if you will with the orange and black paint application and of course you can see the details on johnny silverhand with the vest that says samurai looking really nice you can see the gun there that you can put in the back because the holder is in the back pants everything is nicely painted but again it is not fabric it is actually sculpted then taking a look at the front here we have the guitar this is how i decided to put this for the display purposes you can see some weathering on some rusty paint application at the bottom you can see some stickers there and of course the strings looking really nice actually real strings so you cannot play the guitar but you know you know how this is then we have this accessory here that you can put on top which is the the pizza uh, box with you know with uh, with the can glued together and of course the ladder picture which is already included with this thing as soon as you turn this on you can hear the music again for copyright purposes i cannot put the music but trust me it is there as i mentioned before the paint application on the pants is really nice this is a burgundy type of color you can see the wrinkles and the details so nicely painted on the hand love the skin texture with the cigar with the with the rings and of course the tattoos on the arm and on the hand and of course the silver hand hey johnny silver hand you can see the silver hand over there looking really nice and of course the continuation on the best now as i mentioned before this is a sculpted so the paint application is really nice for this particular piece you can see more details going on and more tattoos on the side of the arm and one thing i like about this is the skin texture i think the paint application is really nice and especially when you put the shades on this guy it does look really cool so you can see the scratches on the top of the forehead and of course the paint application throughout this figure which is really really nice i kind of like the the profile on this one i'm not too fan of the side look but this one looks good for some reason all right guys so now taking a look at the back of the base so you can see that this has some uh, um, buttons here that you can use again you can play the sound if you want on and off switch this is the back nicely painted in some dark metallic color which i like very much especially the back those little holes there are the speakers so it's actually pretty loud it is pretty loud of course I cannot show it to you because I can't for copyright purposes, but it is there and it does look really, really nice. And that's pretty much how you see the panel in the back looking really, really nice. And talking about panel, I want to show you the front. So I removed Johnny. I want to show you how this looks with the display on. And this LCD looks really nice. I think the quality and the sharpness of the footage is really, really nice. And this definitely will help you if you are a photographer, if you want to have different type of scenes. And it's more like a dynamic diorama. That's how I pretty much I will label this thing, right? But as you can see, I have all the accessories on the base, which looks very nice. And of course, the multiple options that you can display this thing, right? You have the remote control. You can switch between the scenes and that's a huge plus. Same with the songs. But overall, I'm very happy with this display backdrop. And this is how you'll see it without the figure. All right, guys, my final thoughts about this statue is very positive. Instead of with the likeness, I think this is a really good representation of Johnny Silverhand as seen in the video game. Maybe we can argue that the paint application on the head scope is not the best, especially on the eyes, but overall, the skin texture, the weathering, and especially the look on the pants and the vest is very nice. We don't have any fabric here, but the paint is just really, really good. Now, another positive thing about this thing is the base, right? You have the LCD that you can show different scenes. Maybe you can play some music if you want. So it will definitely improve the look of this statue.
In terms of price, this goes for about $750, $800. So it might be a bit stiff if you ask me, but overall, I think it is a good piece to have in your collection. And because of that, my final score is 8.5 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, guys, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Manafa Collectibles, TikTok, Manafa Collectibles, and Facebook group Six Skill Media for anything related once in skill figures. Both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.